Today we are in Reykjavik because today, sadly, it's our last day on Iceland. We've only been traveling today. Uh, it's midday now, roughly four, and uh, our flight leaves super early in the morning. So we just gonna enjoy the afternoon here in Reykjavik and see what the big city of Iceland has to offer. We just found this lighthouse. We're gonna check it out and you might be able to climb it. Let's find out. First looks, what is it? Looks hard, uh, to be honest, yeah. with a touch of impossible. Fingers crossed, the door is gonna be open. That never works for me! Yeah, give it a go. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, the, the first one is it's possible. Let's see how much stretch these zines actually have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, from here on, it's quite hard. Just, just a couple of them left. <laughs> but it's a beautiful lighthouse. Yeah, it's a beautiful lighthouse. So enjoy it without me being on top of it. Too sad. Yeah, that's sad. Actually, that's really sad. I'm gonna sit here and bum out about that for a bit. I think I just got happy again. I realized you can still do flips here. That's quite good. Yeah, boy! Yeah. yeah, you could. Okay, it's a nice place to be right now. <laughs> Challenge side flip up to the stone. Ah, you know I like challenges. All right, from this stone to that stone, you say? Yes. Okay. I should stick it though. Yes. No. Oh, almost. Doesn't really count. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, bro! Yeah, I think we can make that one count. Now, with that out of the way, we can move on. Yeah, first try! Finally! You, you took your time. Yeah, I took a good amount of time. You're always the last one to get out of the car. Yeah, yeah. How, how long did we walk? Roughly two minutes? 200 meters. Yeah, 200 meters. And we found a Kong Prix, uh, which begs to be done. You put your arms here, jump over to that one. Boom. I was a bit too scared for the railing. Tilted it a little bit more backwards than I should. Wrong. Landing. Are we going to see? Oh. <laughs> nice. We got some skateboard going on. We, we walk like 50 meters more and we see a nice skate session. Where do you want to go when we will adapt? Um, I'm going right here. Right here. So if I jump here, it's yeah. right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that. If you land and like, which way do you fall? Um, forward. Forward, okay, that's perfect. I go slightly to the side then. Yeah. And uh, Emil? I'll go either way to the side. Perfect. I'm gonna do a collab with, what's your name? Inki Rapp. Inki Rapp. Uh, I don't think I pronounced that right. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's gonna do a jump with the skateboard on the stair, and we're gonna do side flip. Good 
fun. Everything is happening in Reykjavik. Yeah, I love Reykjavik, it's a good town. We have parkour spots, we have nice skateboarders. I can't really remember his name, I think it was Ikirap, maybe? <laughs> Icelandic names are so hard to pronounce. But it's a cool city. Yeah, it's a cool city, I love it. Let's go and uh, explore some more. Right, normally I hate museums, but this is a museum I actually could go into. What is it? 90 crowns? 90 Swedish crowns? Nine that's dollars. a no for me. And that's a little bit too much for my slightly light wallet. This is maybe top three most teasing things I ever experienced. It's barely not even water. Let's get my mouth a little bit moisty. I can feel it. I'm. It doesn't feel like drinking. Zero satisfaction. Come on, Pontus. Let's go. Still thirsty. I'm going. Let's take over the vlog again. Hi, my name is Sebastian, and welcome to my vlog. Today we're gonna explore Reykjavik's nightlife, me and Emma, and see how fucked up we can get. All right, it's like this. Who am I to say no when the city gives me opportunities like this? We're gonna be fine, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. See you after. Get a nice view of Reka Week here. I can talk to both cameras at the same time. So can I, no, I cannot hold it. You can also talk to that camera up there. Oh yeah, we have three cameras. <laughs> can I be looking into these two? So, I don't really know what to say. I think there was less time than calculated. Seven minutes in total, and I recorded our intro for this video you just saw. I think it's time to, for us to head a little yeah, bit bye. east or northwest maybe, so that people won't see us right next to the crane. Let's go. Right, we are starting to feel quite hungry, I think I talked for the three of us. Uh, so we're gonna try to find some uh, classical Icelandic food. It can be quite hard due to my gluten intolerance and that I don't eat meat. Uh, but we're gonna do our best. Maybe Sebastian and Emil can have a traditional dish and I will just have something to fill my stomach up. Oh, spin to that! <laughs> do you want to meet him in a dark alley? I wouldn't mind a dark alley, but I... Uh, I would not want to meet him in a dark forest. Not a forest. No, because that feels like he has the advantage yeah. in a forest. Uh, but I'm more of a urban environment guy, so I'm gonna have the upper advantage in the city. True. Depends on where we meet. <laughs> Typical Icelandic food is. I think it's either cold served whale, maybe fish soup. I get the feeling. Since it's an island, and what, what do you think about? Do you think these? Do they serve ice beer? Ice beer, polo beer. Ice beer, ice cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they serve ice cold beer. 
for sure, but I don't think to serve ice bear or polar bear. Polar bears. Yeah. Is there even polar bears on Iceland? No, it's not. No, it would be a stupid thing to import. Yeah, but why does all the gift shops have I polar bears outside? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but uh, I, I think people actually think that they have polar bears on Iceland. Oh yeah. Uh, so so yeah, they can sell a shitload of polar bear miniatures to uh, tourists. Yeah. So I think it's a good industry to make people believe that they actually have polar bears on Iceland. Good for the economy. <laughs> Don't fill up the memory card. Turns out this is the most challenging mission we have. Uh, accounted this whole trip. It's super hard to find Icelandic food or a place that serves Icelandic food which also has gluten-free vegetarian stuff. <sighs> We're in for a lot of work. This is gonna be tough. But we are three tough guys, we're gonna do this. We might end up at Hard Rock if they have gluten-free bread because they have a vegetarian burger and if it's also gluten-free then we're all set. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nah. Nice. I'm hungry, but it's nice to just stroll around, no demands. Yeah, but I meant what you think of the place. Oh, they got a veg veggie burger, they got a lot of burgers and stuff. So let's try it. They didn't really have any for me, so I'm gonna order just some nachos or something instead. So you guys can eat some burgers. You yeah, boy! And I can eat something as well. I mean, I like nachos and I like fries. I just realized a bit in for eating that we're actually out for typical Icelandic food. <laughs> and I'm eating, I think the exact opposite. I'm eating fries with nachos. It feels just stupid, it's a stupid dish. I just realized the beer though, cool. That's Icelandic. A third of my dish is 100% Icelandic. Iceland. Chicken. Okay, this is actually sad. We're picking down the camera for the last time and we'll probably not take it up again. Ever. Not ever, but uh, on Iceland. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's see. see you in the next adventure. There might be some northern lights going on. Okay, I just said we'd put the camera down for the last time and the first thing I do is start vlogging. Okay, uh, there there might be some northern lights tonight. If we have northern lights, you'll see the northern lights. Okay, so we had some northern lights out and I'm filming them right now. I'm not sure how much of them you can see since I'm in video mode. <clears throat> but it looks quite good straight out of the camera. It's gonna be interesting to see how this looks in the computer. I'm shooting some time lapse as well, so I'm gonna cut that video in. But they look so much better now than uh, when I was shooting the time lapse. <laughs> hours we're gonna be on the plane on our way from Reykjavik back to Sweden it's been a pleasure I've enjoyed every day here so so much and it would not have been possible without the guys I've been traveling with we have Sebastian Emil yo, yo. and Casper who isn't with us anymore or he's not dead <laughs> he's not dead I promise uh, he just isn't physically here right now uh, so make sure to check them out on their social medias give them some love as well and uh, yeah I hope you guys have been enjoying the content we have been producing or the yeah the vlogs I would say vlogs actually I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs we have been creating from this trip here at Iceland and I would appreciate if you consider subscribing well, let's not say consider, just hit that button. Uh, it's not that hard. Just hit it, make it red, make me smile, whatever, you know what to do. Subscribe, thumbs up. You don't have to thumbs up, but give me some comments instead. I like them much more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pussy Peace out.